find Ix, the moment of inertia, about the centroid of a triangle. We're going to need to get dA because we know that Ix is the integral of y squared dA. So I need to know what dA is. I'm going to do it two different ways, two ways to get dA. The first of them is to look at what the actual horizontal bar is. Here's my dA. Unfortunately, this dA is not x anymore. It's some w value. We know that, though, this value is b over 3, and this value is 2b over 3, because we know that this is at the centroid of this triangle. Similarly, we know that this is 2h over 3, and this part is h over 3. So if we say that y is some slope times x plus an intercept, we have two points. We have x equals minus b over 3, y equals 2h over 3, and we have x equals 2b over 3, and y equals minus h over 3. You could plug those into your equation for the line, and you get minus b over 3 times the slope plus the intercept. And in the other case, you have minus h over 3 equals 2 thirds of the slope plus the intercept. You can, this is two equations and two unknowns. You can solve this to show that this is y equals minus h over b times x plus h over 3. That will give you x equals b over 3 minus b over h y by solving for x in the other direction. So dA is w times dy, where w is x plus b over 3. How do I know this? Because you go backwards, 3, b over 3, and from x and you have w. Gives me dA is 2b over 3 minus b over h. Why? That's one way of getting dA. That's one of your ways. The other way is to look at the equation for the line based entirely on w. If you look at that, you have y equals 9 minus b over h times w plus 2h over 3. That works too, and you can solve that for w and plug into the dA. Let's double check that what we have is correct. If we have x is minus b over 3, then w at x plus b over 3 gives me minus b over 3 plus b over 3 is 0, which is enormously encouraging because at the top of the triangle w goes to 0. If x equals 2b over 3, w plus equals x plus b over 3 gives you b, which means at the bottom w is equal to b, which is also correct. So however you want to do this, this is our dA. Ix, especially about the centroid, or this is the definition though for all Ix, is the integral of y squared dA. Now all I have to do is plug and chunk. I have the integral of y squared times w dy, but my limits of integration are h over 3 to 2h over 3, not 0 to h. So if I plug that in here, I have y squared x plus b over 3 times dy. And keep working that out. Multiply it out. This is 2b over 3 minus b over hy. This is our w, w dy. If you expand that, you have 2b over 3 y squared minus b over h y cubed dy, which is a fairly simple integral. This is y cubed over 3 minus b over h y to the fourth over 4, evaluated from negative h over 3 to 2h over 3. Now you just have to be so careful with your arithmetic. This is 2b over 9 times 2h over 3 quantity cubed minus b over 4h 2h over 3 to the fourth minus 2b over 9 negative h over 3 cubed plus minus a minus b over 4h minus h over 3 to the fourth power. If you multiply that out, that's 16 over 243 bh cubed here, minus 4 over 81 bh cubed here, plus 2 over 243 bh cubed, plus 1 over 324 bh cubed. All of which works out to the formula you should memorize for a triangle. Ix equals 136 bh cubed. That is the moment of inertia for a triangle about its own centroid. And when we come to doing any kind of composite body, this is the one you need to know.